huge world premiere in the capital. It is now just 51 days until the opening of the first of Sir Peter Jackson's Hobbit films, and Wellington's planning a big bash. But exactly which stars are attending is a closely guarded secret. Simon Bradwell has more details. Three, two, one... Starting. The countdown's begun to a time when once again Wellington becomes Middle Earth. Wellington knows how to put on a premiere, I think, better than uh, anywhere else in the world, even, even L.A. Wellington rebranded the middle of Middle Earth in the build-up to the release of an unexpected journey on November the 28th. The capital's Embassy Theatre hosting the premiere, as it did for the Lord of the Rings trilogy and King Kong. We normally end up with somewhere in the region about two, two and a half thousand id staff working on the day to make it happen from the caterers, security, everyone involved. The movie being broadcast simultaneously to seven movie screens around the city to around two and a half thousand fans. The mayor indulging in a bit of hobbit speak to celebrate. I wish you a good morning and mean that it is a good morning, whether we want it or not, and that I feel good this morning and that it is a morning to be good on. Also planned a hobbit market, giant hobbit sculptures at the airport and free public screenings of the Rings trilogy. Red carpet will stretch 500 metres or five football fields down Courtney Place. But the big question is, which of the stars will walk on it? I can't tell you today, but uh, it will be revealed in due course. Orlando Bloom? I couldn't possibly say. Ian McKellen? Maybe, maybe not, don't know. Martin Freeman? You're just going to list them all, aren't you? <laughs> but there's one guest organisers hope won't be showing up on the big day. Wellington never has crap when we're on premieres, I might add. Um, obviously I did uh, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, did Lovely Bones and uh, also King Kong. I think you'll find all of those days we didn't have a, a drop of rain, so we should be good. Judging by today, a sunny trip down the red carpet would indeed be an unexpected journey. Simon Bradwell, One News.